I am Assistant Director of Athletic Communications, Hannah Joe Riley, and I'm here with Mario, goalkeeper from the men's soccer team. How are you, Mario? I'm doing great. How about you? I'm good. So where are you now? Are you in Richmond? Where are you? Uh, I got back to Richmond about three, four weeks ago. Um, before this, I was in Alexandria, Virginia with my partner and her family. Um, but yeah, luckily I, I was able to come back about three weeks ago and, and been working out with the, with the teammates a little bit in the volunteer workouts and such. So just really excited to be back. Good deal. Now, were you, did you stay here the whole time during the quarantine and all that or were you able to go home? Well, since March, when all of this kind of like started to break out a little bit, we weren't sure if we were to stay in dorms or if, if, if it was a better option for us to leave. As soon as they moved all classes online, I decided to go to Alexandria uh, with my girlfriend and her family. So I stayed there for about three months. And then we figured out a way to, to move in back into Richmond before, before uh, the, the preseason started and before classes started. So we managed to do that. So part of my quarantine was in, in Alexandria and part of my quarantine was here. Gotcha. So how did the online classes go finishing this semester that way? Was it kind of weird? Was it wild? I think it was a learning curve for everybody, uh, professors, students, and, and, and definitely I think an adjustment for everybody. Um, I personally liked it and in some, in some way it kind of like helped me um, strategically plan the rest of my semester so that I could finish all of my work online and I could turn in everything as quickly as possible. So that way I would target all of the pressure uh, right off the bat and, and toward the end of the semester, just focusing more on uh, just wrapping up with my professors and, and being ready for graduation. Uh, so I graduated in May, so I just wanted to take it as, as low pressure as possible. And I think my professors were incredibly helpful in that sense. They were able to provide me as much feedback in terms of my work. And I was able to, throughout the day, work on the most pressing uh, kind of like uh, homeworks and, and projects. So um, it was definitely adjustment. I can say the first week or two weeks were a little bit of a challenge, but moving forward from there, we knew it was going to be like that the rest of the semester. So we understood it was a matter of just readjusting and, and clearing our minds and, and, and everything went smoothly along. Right. So we recently learned that this, the fall season has been postponed. How did you and your teammates find out about that? Well, definitely with the team, we, we had been having talks about what the season was going to look like and, and we were preventing all kind of scenarios, right? A, a delayed start or a conference only kind of season and and definitely not having a season in the fall was one of those options. And we knew regardless of what was going to happen, we still had to work out. We still have to be prepared in order to come back as fit as possible now in August. Um, it's definitely upsetting. It's a disappointment, but we understand that there's more important things right now, especially taking care of ourselves, taking care of our uh, coaching staff and, and, and other students around around VCU, right? If we, if we were going to be traveling and coming back to class, that was going to be, um, that could jeopardize people's people's health and, and w when they're not even involved in, in our season. So I think we understand that what happened is probably for the best, for the overall best. And now that we are coming back and we're starting to hit the workouts with the team, I think what we're focusing on right now is having as much of an improvement individually to provide that to the team so that whenever there's a season, whether that's in the spring or until next fall, we're all ready and we're all on the same page in order to have an even more successful season uh, than the one we could have possibly had. Right. Tell me a little bit about what it looks like right now um, to stay in shape, to train, to do the voluntary workouts. What is that looking like for y'all? Um, so throughout the, the summer, uh, for the past three, four months, uh, our strength coach, uh, Michael McCauthery, he was incredibly helpful in sending us weekly workouts where we had, um, of all of, all of this was voluntarily, like, uh, if, 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 if one person, like we didn't have to report to anybody, but it was a good plan for us to kind of like stay in shape and it provided everything we needed. Uh, so for the people that had some kind of like gym equipment at their houses. 
Um, they had a specific work plan. And for people like me that I really didn't have a lot, it was a lot of body weight uh, kind of workouts. So that part was really challenging in the sense of, well, not having a team around, it's kind of like forcing you to push yourself every day and to motivate yourself every day. Um, but I think it helped me take um, things at my own pace and it allowed me to focus on the things that I individually needed to work on a little bit more than the whole group. And now that we're back, it's just really exciting to see everybody kind of ready to start. Um, everything is voluntary and, and people are still like, when are we practicing? What time are we arriving tomorrow? What are we doing? So that kind of drive that I see in, in every one of my teammates is, is really powerful. And it definitely motivates me to move forward. And, and it definitely motivates you to, to understand that although this is not what we were expecting, it helps us appreciate even more what we have. And, and it's just really exciting to see everybody on the same boat right now. Good deal. So you said, you know, you have to keep yourself safe, your teammates safe, the coaching staff safe, coaching staff safe. What does that look like right now? Yeah, definitely. Um, we're still quarantining as much as possible, you know, minimizing the time we, we have to go out, minimizing the places that, that we show up to. Um, I pretty much don't leave my house unless I need to go to the grocery store or I'm going to, to the to the stadium or to Siegel Center to, for our workouts. Um, so that, that part for us is still incredibly important. At the same time, uh, every time we show up to practice and we're in confined spaces, we're wearing our masks and, and we are uh, sanitizing our hands as much as possible, sanitizing the surfaces. Uh, when we go to a weight room, for example, as soon as we finish working out, each set, each repetition, we have to clean our equipment, the, the one we touch, the one we use. And as soon as we're done, they're almost like telling us, you got to leave because we have to sanitize the whole place. So, uh, of course, it makes it makes us understand that there's a protocol now that is it is even more importantly for, for us to follow. Um, but it is allowing us to do what, what we enjoy and what we like. So moving forward, we expect that when guys are going to classes, um, they will be wearing their masks and hopefully there will be social distancing from other students. That way we can keep ourselves and themselves a, a, um, a little bit healthier. Um, so I think in this new normal, as we were, as we were talking before, it's, it's just a matter of being cautious on where I go and, and what I'm wearing when I'm, when I'm out there, right? If, if I'm wearing my mask or if I'm uh, handling some kind of hand sanitizer and such. So that's, that's what it's looking like for us. Right. So you said you graduated in May. So what is, what's the next steps for you as far as your education and what is that looking like now? Is it all online? Are you going to classes? What does that look like? I am going to classes as, a, as an international student. Uh, there's some policies that we have to follow through. So we have to go to in-person classes. Um, and even though that might sound like somebody wouldn't like to do that, I am incredibly excited to start a master's program in sports leadership. I think it's, a, it's, a, it's an incredibly good opportunity for me to keep moving forward in terms of my goals in, in, in the soccer field, in the sports field. Um, so I'm starting that this coming Monday. And I have three classes in person and one class online. So I understand that because the numbers in a master's program are a little bit lower than a regular undergraduate program and, and, and such, there, there will be, they will be able to provide us with a much safer space, uh, good social distancing, uh, hopefully some classes uh, outside of the classroom, like let's say outdoors and, and such. So. Um, that's really exciting just to be able to go to class and, 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 and enjoy and get to learn with people that are pursuing a, a similar dream than the one I'm, I'm, I'm trying to follow. So that is really exciting. And yeah, on, on the side, I'm trying to, uh, on my own time, learn as much about goalkeeper coaching and coaching overall in soccer so that once the soccer journey as a player for me ended, I can continue it as a coach. So that's, that's kind of what it's looking like for, for the next six months. And, and, and the program is for a year, a year and a half, depending on how uh, I'm taking the classes. But it's definitely a step forward into, into pursuing my dreams. Good deal. Well, Mario, thank you for taking the time to chat with me and stay safe out there. No, absolutely. Thank you so much. And hopefully 
you and, and all VCU students and all VCU staff get to get to stay healthy and, and, and yeah, we can have as, as smooth of a semester as we can. Absolutely.